Greetings, welcome to Igo Ayopona and Brothers Anatib. I want to share something very important with you. Someone met me and asked me to help her pray about a lady. She gave me the name of a lady and said, my son wants to get married. So I want you to pray about this lady for me. She is from a very humble background. She is very humble. They are not from a rich family and I think she could make a good wife. I said, okay, no problem. So I prayed about it. I want to share what God revealed to me about this lady. The Lord told me that the fact that someone comes from a humble background is not enough. That we should also ask what the family background looks like. I'm going to explain what the Lord means. He said there are some families that are like a fertile ground. There are other families that are like a dry ground. That if your land is fertile and you plant something there, it will do well. There are some lands that are dry. No matter how good the fruit is, no matter how effort you put into the Planting, like watering it, uh, weeding it, it will not do well. He explained to me that some families are dry. That if you marry from there, the person you marry, your partner, is likely not to do well. Because that is what happens to members of the family. And that if you marry from that kind of family, if there is a curse or the yoke of poverty has not been broken in that family. That poverty she is bringing into your home or he is bringing into your marriage is definitely going to affect you too. If you're getting into some families to get married, you should also take your time to pray and know why that family is poor. Some of them, it is a curse in the family like a dry ground. We have seen some marriages. As soon as someone gets married to someone, everything goes on reverse. Their business starts crashing. They start doing very badly. Their health, things start going bad. I have personally seen families like that. I know someone whom brought the lady he wanted to marry to me and said, I should pray about it. So I prayed and God said, this is not your wife. He went ahead and got married to the lady. He started having different kind of problems. I mean, big diseases, big problems. I don't want to mention any problem. Even his financial life went on reverse. Everything started going down the drain. There could be other reasons why something like this could happen, but let us do a spiritual investigation. There are people who want to marry a lady that is from a humble background, a man that is from a humble background. Even me, myself, I was born poor <laughs> from a humble background. So I'm not trying to uh, blacklist everybody that is from a humble background. But we should take our time to pray. There are people who want to marry a man or a woman that is from a humble background because they believe that, oh, they are more humble in life when they come from a humble background. They, if, that means if they are not born by rich parents or if they are not raised like a prince or like a princess, that there are some qualities these people have, but that is not enough. Even as much as you see that, as one of the criteria you want to use to look for a partner. Also ask yourself, is this person from a dry family? It is very, very important. Let us not just use that criteria of someone from a humble background to make conclusion. That is not enough. Thank you for watching. I hope this message helps someone, either you as a uh, father or mother or a young man or young woman i hope it it helps you 
when making decision. Thank you and God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video with someone. God bless you.